and you gotta like that. I'm gonna jump over to this mic and introduce Daryl Prokopi. He's our sales manager down there in PA and his crew, the sales crew, well, the prizes that we've had this weekend have been absolutely terrific. Tara Mueller, she came up as well. Fabian Ratt and Janet, they came up from PA to help out here this weekend, and we appreciate it. Daryl, thank you ever so much for coming up. Well, thank you very much, Dale. First of all, I want to thank the Elks for having us again. We appreciate everything they do for us. Uh, this new stage that we're standing on this year, absolutely great. So thank you very much to the Elks members. Dale, I want to thank you. You've put in a lot of time, a lot of hours. Uh, he's been up here thanking everybody all weekend, but this man here deserves a lot of thanks himself. Yeah. You bet. It's fun. He's the fellow that uh, the dialogue communicated with our performers. He's the one that put the call out there for our performers to submit their auditions. He compiled everything. He uh, called all of us together to sit down and adjudicate. Once we chose our performers, he was in direct contact with them, told them the where's, the what's, the when's. So thank you very much, Dale, for all of your work. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. It's been fun. Thanks for coming out, you guys. It's just, it's nothing if you don't show up, so it's all you. So you're ready? Uh, just also, I, I want to thank uh, Deborah Charles, our CEO. Yes! Our board of directors, uh, they give us the blessing every two years to come out and do this. It does cost some money, and, uh, you know, we're just glad that uh, they see the value in, in, in this. Uh, NBC certainly is a promoter of our... First Nations, our Aboriginal Métis talent, our Northern talent, our amateur talent, and we're all about these types of shows, whether it be Voices of the North or music shows all across the province, NBC is there in, and involved. So we're just so proud to do this once again, and thank you all for coming. Let's get at it, Dale. All right, just one quick thing here, because there's so many people behind the scenes, and I want to thank Joe Black and Dallas Hicks, because they are out here uh, setting everything up. They're going to be tearing everything down. So thanks to Joe and Dallas for putting in some extra time as well. So, all right, what are we going to do? Fans choice first? Let's do the fans choice. Okay, so here's fans choice. The fans choice is the autographed Yamaha acoustic guitar donated and autographed from John McLeod. I'm just going to move this mic here. And Fabian, he tallied, tallied the uh, fans choice. And he said it was really, really tight. And the fans choice is uh, Kirsten Clark of South End. Kirsten, come on up, where are you? Kirsten Clark, there she is. You got a brand new guitar, girl. Autograph. You want to say something? There you go, everyone. Kirsten Clark from South End. It's always good when you can give an instrument away because you never know what's going to come out of that instrument in the future. Third place, one point separated third and second place. Absolutely amazing. And I've got to hold on to that, if you wouldn't mind, Daryl. I just want to flip over to the page that had the points on it. At 381 points, third place, Isla Cross's Sea Miss Wolf. She gets a Jay Terser guitar. You got a brand new guitar, courtesy of Gun and Sound and Light. There you go. Talk into there. Say something if you like. Thank you very much. I uh, really enjoyed this opportunity. And thank you, NBC. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. There you go, see Miss Wolf, everybody. Second place. Second place, one point. One point. Amazing. There we go. 382 points from Fond du Lac, Craig Adam. Craig's picked up. Just a sweet Boss Roland BR1600 CD Professional Recording Studio. 16 tracks, 8 inputs, CDR, RW drive built in. You got effects for your guitar, for your bass, for your vocals. And his voice sounds pretty good already. I don't know if he really needs the pitch correction all that much, but good job, my friend. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, everybody, for having uh, 
the uh, whoever voted for me, and uh, thank you to you crowd out there for supporting me. I had lots of fun playing with you guys. Thank you. Dale, just uh, quickly before uh, we move on to uh, our first place finisher, I just also want to throw out two more thank yous. Tom Palmer, I know we've been shooting him kudos all day, but Tom, thank you very much. He put up with the rain yesterday. He uh, put up with his gear getting wet, covered, uncovered. So we want to thank Tom for everything he does. I think this is about Tom's sixth or seventh talent search. So he's been coming to La Ronge for a lot of years to do this. So thank you very much, Tom. All right. And lastly, I want to give a huge thank you to not only someone I've worked with over the years, but has become a very good friend in Jay Ross. Uh, every two years, he's got it in his calendar. I have it in my calendar. We talk, we say, are we doing the talent search? We say yes, and then my stress is over. I know that Jay is gonna bring the best musicians that he possibly can to LaRange, and he, he, they're gonna be able to make our performers feel like real, true professionals on a stage, because they are playing with professionals. So Jay, Mitch, Dustin, Elvin, from our hearts, thank you for making the trip north to Prince, uh, pardon me, LaRange once again. And uh, Jay, put it in your calendar, two years. Thank you, Daryl. My 12th year here, I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's helped me become a semi-professional musician, professional musician, whatever you want to call it. But uh, thanks to NBC for um, honing the skills of um, a northerner musician like me. Thank you, guys. But it's only semi-professional because we don't pay very well. <laughs> Food vouchers. <laughs> all right, Dale. This is what it's all about, All buddy. right, first place, 20 hours of studio time at Big Drum Media, Barry Mihalowicz. Thank you very much. I was told, did I pronounce it pro properly, Mihalowicz? Perfect. Okay. Barry's amazing, all right? And they got a state-of-the-art studio in PA. Over the years, Barry's worked with a whole bunch of the NBC talent, so you could be the next project with Barry down at Print, uh, Big Drum Media. It's a $2,500 value, and it's going to, oh, I gotta get how many points? Ha, 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 How many points? 399 is ringing the bell. 399 points from the Ron, Ron Bradfield. Where's Ronnie at? Rock and Ron Bradfield, there he is. Here he comes. There he comes, all out of the beer gardens. Yeah, the beverage tent, sorry. He rocked the zoo till two and then some all weekend long with his band Lowdown. And now you're going into the studio, Ronnie. We're gonna bring all the winners back up here and they're gonna do a tune. Jay's all right with that. One more time, everybody, your first place winner of the 2012 NBC Amateur Talent Search, Ron Bradfield of LaRange. Thank you, folks. I was actually hoping for second place, but that's okay. I'll take this. It's good to win something once in a while. I'd like to thank NBC for throwing this on every second year. It's a really good thing for uh, all us people in the entertainment to actually have something, somewhere to go and put out our input of music. That's what it's all about, the music. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you, LaRange. First place, everybody, Ron Bradfield. Nice round of applause for Ron. Well, uh, we're gonna let the band take over and let your winners come out and do one little finale for you, finale tunes, whatever Jay wants to do. Bring your hands together and still enjoy the afternoon. <laughs> 